Right now, there are schools that only 3% of children can are meeting proficiency. That's not acceptable. The option that the Democrats are giving is keep them there until we fix it. We'll get it better soon. I supported children and families over the teachers union. I supported the Republicans' position not to defund the police. She's leaving the Democratic Party. She says she's tired of that shit. On her statement, my name is Representative Misha Maynard, and today I've made a decision to leave the Democratic Party. I represent the Blue District in the city of Atlanta. So this wasn't a political decision for me. It was a moral one. I would never apologize for being a black woman with a mind of my own. The two biggest issues have got to be school choice, which is what you're standing up for here, and law and order and safety and security in every town and every city, because that's not happening in minority neighborhoods all across the country, and they've been run by Democrats for decades. I'd like to know your thoughts. I absolutely agree with you, Sean. Um, the two things that I have actually run on in my district in Atlanta is education and public safety. Um, it doesn't matter what part of my district that people are in, parents are asking for choices. Right now, there are schools that only 3% of children can are meeting proficiency. That's not acceptable. The option that the Democrats are giving is keep them there until we fix it. We'll get it better soon but it's been like that for 50 years. That's not acceptable, I didn't vote for it. The other thing, to your point, public safety. Um, the Democrats wanted to defund the police. Um, I was on Twitter with one of my former colleagues the other day and she said, I never voted not to defund the police and um, some constituents brought up her vote and said, this is the vote that you did. So we need to yeah. make some changes and I'm happy to do so. Yeah. So. She, she's saying only 3% of the children in Atlanta in her school district is meeting the state standards. That's, that's really ridiculous. But you don't want to do school cho choice. You, you want all the kids to stay in that failing school system so you could fail more kids. This is in Atlanta. So they can fail more kids and have more kids not knowing what the hell to read or how to read know how to do math and we raising these kids and we send them to these these failing schools you stick into a failing plan it's not working your kids can't read that no child left behind means child all the children are left behind and the public safety she, and she said this is one of the things that she ran on Public safety and education, school choice for education, because parents are tired. If, if you're a parent that cares about your children, you don't want to be forced to put your kid in a school that they're not teaching them. They're defunding the police because you're in the urban area. Oh, black people don't want the police. No, that's that's not true. I think most black people, if they're law abiding citizens, they, they want some type of uh, law and order. They don't want to buy stuff and they stuff come up stolen or uh, being attacked. You afraid to walk the neighborhood. That That's really ridiculous. So she, she decided to leave the Democratic Party because she said they, they full of shit. Anyway, I want to get back to Maisha uh, minor. I think that's what her name is. Um, I wanted to highlight some of these comments on her. Uh, Javon Price, good to see what folks waking up and standing up for what's right. Freedom News, please join the Republican Party. We need your help with school to get school choice for kids in Atlanta area. Start with the root causes to make lives better. Um, I have had a comment on my last stream. This was yesterday. And the guy asked me, tell me what one policy that Republicans are doing for African-Americans. He said, name one policy. 
because he was on my on on the feeds talking about um he he was tired of conservatives conservative black people always pointing out stuff and not you know giving uh solutions to the problem you know or he's all he said uh the republicans never come and talk to the black people but one of the problems is with that statement is there's actively po active policies or laws that republicans are trying to get passed that it benefits all people the number one way to get out of poverty is your education but if you can't read you can't go to the next level that's the number one way to get out of poverty is education, not, not reparations. You could give anyone a whole bunch of money and they don't, they squander it. Um, so anyway, he was saying name one policy. This is school choice. That's, that's probably one of the main policies that we need in every major city because our school system is, is failing. You know, they have school choice out here. This is, um, I'm Macomb, Michigan, and we have school choice out here. But this is a Republican city or district. They have school choice, but I don't know if they have it in um, Detroit. They might have it in Detroit. I'm not for sure, but I know they have it out here. Um, this one lady said, you sound like a Democrat. You realize this, don't you? I could put your post next to Democrats' posts and people would be hard-pressed to pick out a Patriot post, do better. I don't know why she says that. So she, they saying she sound like a Democrat. I don't know why she sound like a Democrat. Anyway, congratulations. I hope more people in government wake up and realize Democratic Party has been become toxic. It's now the party of genital mutilation, sexualization of children, illegal immigration, which is destroying Black communities. Illegal immigration is destroying Black communities. That's one of the favorite Democratic par parties, a Democrat parties things to oh we're we're asylum we want everybody to come here open bo borders open border policies we have to help these people they're seeking asylum all the while you're taking away the resources from the black community i wish i could remember that guy's name that was on my stream yesterday but yeah you take take away the open border policies it takes away from the the impoverished community the urban cities and who's in the urban cities black people she she's going to get backlash and hopefully her constituents that people that voted for her will recognize that oh she's actually looking out for me I do want school choice. I do want police in my neighborhood. I do not want open borders because it affects my community. So hopefully they will realize that, okay, she's actually really working for us. She's trying to do what she's, she said she came to do. Instead of, oh, she switched party. I'm not gonna vote for her no more. Democrats to become a Republican. Senator Maisha Maynard says her decision to defect from the Democrats to become a Republican came after her relationship with her own party splintered. Now, a Republican represents one of the bluest parts of Georgia under the Gold Dome. Today, I stand here to say that I have decided to join the Republican Party of Georgia. The major announcement coming after what she called, quote, harassment and intimidation since she broke with state Democrats on private school vouchers and police reform. I supported children and families over the teachers union. I supported the Republicans position not to defund the police.
top state Republicans, including Governor Brian Kemp, were quick to show their support. The state party chair by her side at Tuesday's announcement. What it reflects is a reality about where there is a political home where diversity of opinion is welcomed. Meanwhile, Georgia's Democratic leader, Congresswoman Nikema Williams, slammed Maynard's decision as, quote, a stinging betrayal of her constituents. One constituent in Midtown agreed. I think the city is obviously leaning one way, and that if she was here and spent time with the people, she would know that, and she wouldn't have flipped. She represents a deep blue district that voted for President Joe Biden with an 89% majority. Meanwhile, another voter says he'll just have to wait and see how she does. I'm one of those people that I, I look really closely to policies and like what someone is actually doing, what their intentions are. Um, so I, depending on what they're coming out with, it, it just depends. Now we won't really know the real political implications of this move until the end of next year when Maynard is up for re-election. Democrats, as you can imagine, have already promised to challenge her. In Atlanta, Rob Dioranzo, Fox 5 News. Yeah, I mean, is it political suicide for her? Yeah, probably, probably so. But she, she, I think she did a good job of standing up for when what a clean shiny life. truck pulls up in front. You, you can't, you can't go through life and say, "Oh, I, I want to um, just follow whatever everybody else is doing."